By any standards, Michael Ezra Mulyowa is supposedly a wealthy Ugandan businessman who came to prominence a few years ago with high-profile sponsorships of sports in the country. But it's not every day that wealthy businessmen walk about the streets of Kampala carrying $3 million stashed in an ordinary travel bag. The Uganda Revenue Authority wants him to pay 1.1 billion shillings that has accumulated as individual income tax from his business transactions. Today, Michael Ezra did just that when he walked into the Plash Emin Pasha Hotel in Nakasero to prove a point that he isn't broke. If there's a tax liability, I tell you, yes, it is there. There is nothing wrong with the Commissioner General having spoken. I'm trying to say that I can't be the only citizen who owes. If my case was unique, then the, main, the more reason it would be a big story. I don't know why people want me sorted. Recently, the URA asked the government to sanction his travel out of the country, fearing he would abscond from his tax dues. When asked whether he was now bankrupt, the flamboyant tycoon beckoned one of his aides and ordered him to get a bag from the car. It contained three million U.S. dollars in neat, crisp notes to the astonishment of the gathered journalists. But as in the past, Mike Ezra was not forthcoming on what he does for a living. I'm a private citizen. I do private business. And I don't do it in the Republic of Uganda. Full stop. When I become a public official, I will declare. And although it's rare to see individuals brandishing millions of dollars on the streets of Kampala, it's not against Ugandan laws. People can bring in any amount of money. Uh, investors can come in uh, with uh, money and invest. And if you want to move out with your money tomorrow, you can take out your money. Michael Ezra is confident he will go through this debt scandal unscathed. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, tonight.